Hello guys, it's the Rival Tech Nord here. Topic of the day is stealth antennas for HF communications. Quick background. An old colleague and very good friend of mine asked me about effective transmission antennas that could be used in HF without anyone in the immediate area knowing that there's actually an HF communications antenna there. Well, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that we're a big fan of the magnetic loop antennas. So this time we're going to show you the Chameleon F-Loop, actually the Chameleon F-Loop Plus configuration with the aluminum collapsible radiator and the rotator tuner, or better known as the RTRR. And we're going to do a whisper test and show you how that all comes together. So stick with me and uh, let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. We've already covered the F-Loop extensively on this channel, so we'll jump straight into the RTRR. The RTRR is a remote tuner and rotator for the Chameleon F-Loop magnetic loop antenna. It allows you to remotely deploy your mag loop someplace other than your operating position and control it from your primary operating position. One example would be an operating position that's in one part of the house while the magnetic loop is deployed in the attic. This becomes especially important when you want to keep your communications capability hidden from the surrounding community. Excluding the F-loop itself, the rest of the system or the RTRR is made up of the rotating platform the tuner remote control and the remote control handset. Connections between the platform and the remote control are done using a standard household telephone cable. At the end of the day, what's important is how well the antenna performs. What you're looking at now are whisper results from an inverted L test on 20 meters overnight. And as you can see, we have really good coverage of Europe, North America, North Africa, and some aspects of the Western Middle East. Now for results with the Stealth Magloop. We still have excellent coverage of Europe, but let's also take note of the other Scandinavian stations, the North American stations, and the Middle Russia and Japanese stations. It's also fair to point out that like Yagi antennas, the mag loop is very directional. So the next logical question is who needs one? I think number one on the list would be homeowner restrictions. Anyone with a homeowners association who blocks amateur radio antennas. Anyone with council or deed restrictions on their property. Perhaps someone who's lacking space for a full-size outdoor antenna. Someone who wants to temporarily deploy the mag loop on a vehicle rooftop, but not want to get out of the vehicle to adjust or tune the mag loop. Anyone whose personal safety would be compromised by deploying a large outdoor antenna. So if we go back and take another look at these results, I mean, this isn't that much different than my inverted L. Anyway, I've created a playlist and left the link in the description. That playlist is specifically for F-Loop videos in stealth mode. Alright, the last thing I'd like to cover is improvements. If I could have any feature at all, but only one feature, the single most important thing that I think is missing from this system right now is an indicator to show you the orientation or the direction the mag loop is facing at that moment on the rotator. And other than that, I think it's all good. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, and of course survivaltechnology.net where we share lots of news and information and other articles from our channel buddies. Finally, having made it this far, if you think I deserve a thumbs up, please do so. 
and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.